This video is about the newest cataract lenses that are expected for 2026. I'll explain what these lenses are shortly, but who is this for? If you're considering a cataract surgery or a lens replacement surgery, and you want to know your options, this video is for you. Also, if you're wondering whether you should have your cataract surgery now or wait for one of the new lenses, stick around because by the end of this video, you will have a very realistic outlook of this technology and can decide if waiting is justified. Hi, I'm Dr. Ilan Cohen, a board certified cataract and premium lens surgeon with 25 years of experience and tens of thousands of cataract surgeries. I'll keep this practical and straight to the point. By the end, you'll have a realistic outlook on which of these lenses may be worth waiting for and when acting now is the wiser choice. By the way, I have no financial interest in any of these lens companies and this video is not sponsored by anyone. So what is a cataract? A cataract is the clouding of the natural lens in your eye leading to blurry vision. Your natural lens is a clear, flexible structure inside the eye. In your youth, the muscles surrounding the lens are able to alter its shape, allowing us to shift our focus between distant and near objects. As we age, our natural lens stiffens, making it difficult to focus as it once did. This process known as presbyopia typically begins after the age of 40 and makes clear up close vision challenging without reading glasses. Later in life, the lens can also lose its clarity, becoming cloudy, a condition called a cataract. During cataract surgery, the surgeon replaces this lens with an artificial implant called an intraocular lens. This lens stays in place permanently and restores clear vision. But unlike our natural young lens, which is flexible and actively changes its shape in order to focus, artificial lens cannot move inside the eye and sits in a fixed position. Traditional monofocal lens implants could provide good distance vision for some people, but you'll always need readers for anything nearby. The newer multifocal lenses, on the other hand, help you see both far and up close without glasses. Yet, another type of lenses, EDOF lenses, stretch your focus from far away to arm's length. Some of these lenses use what we call diffractive rings. These are tiny rings that direct light for near and far, while others are non-diffractive. They'll have smooth optics that redirect light without those rings. So what does this all mean in terms of your vision? Full range and trifocal lenses with the diffractive rings usually give you the strongest reading vision, but you might notice some halos or glare when driving at night. Now, non-diffractive designs tend to maintain a sharp and excellent contrast along with night comfort, but your near reading will generally be more functional. Think menus and phone notifications rather than being able to read really tiny print. So these are the leading options for 2026. Alcon Vivity is a non-diffractive EDOF lens. It uses a technology called wavefront shaping to extend focus without rings. I've been using it for the last five years with excellent results in many pilots, truck drivers, and athletes. It has long distance and intermediate vision with glare and hero profile that is very close to monofocal lenses. However, for close-up reading and small print, you might still need glasses. It may also be a good choice for people with mild macular degeneration, glaucoma, and some other eye problems. But what if you're not willing to compromise and want it all? Distance, near, and intermediate. The Panoptics Pro is a trifocal diffractive lens. It's an upgrade to the older panoptic lens, which I've been already using for the last five years with excellent outcomes. Early data suggests impressive performance with approximately 94% light utilization and reduced bench scatter 
compared to the previous Panoptix model. I started using the Pro version earlier this year and so far the results are excellent. I feel that the glare and halo profile in this lens is significantly lower than most other available diffractive lenses. Perhaps with the exception of Envy, which I will talk about shortly. Proper patient selection and surgical technique are absolutely essential for success. Over the years, I've seen many unhappy patients with multifocal lenses. They came to me after bad experience elsewhere. Usually, the problem was either the wrong lens type chosen for their eye or a surgical issue. Often, the lens wasn't positioned correctly. Even though this is a well-known problem and well-documented in the literature, I still see cases where the lens is off-center or not properly aligned to the axis. The next lens is Technis Odyssey. Although it is not a new lens in 2026, I've been using it for the last two years with good results. However, I believe that today better options are available. It offers a full range of vision. It particularly shines for good distance vision. However, I feel that the incidence of glare and halos were slightly greater than some other lenses. This tends to subside with time. If you're interested, there is a video on my website where I show the experience of a patient that had Odyssey in one eye and Panoptics in the other. You can find the link in the description. But what about a lens that offers all the fantastic benefits of multifocals without all the issues? Is there such a thing? That takes us to the next lens, the Envista NV. It's a full range diffractive lens. Distribution started in 2025. There was a recall in 25, but it was limited to certain lots. And affected lots are back on the market. I've seen amazing results with this lens on my own patients. So far, it seems to offer excellent distance, near and intermediate vision with extremely low incidence of glare and halos. My patients are truly excited about their vision with this lens. Again, for best results, candidates must be screened properly and the lens must be positioned perfectly. Now, what if the idea of the diffractive rings bothers you? What if you're willing to compromise a bit on the near, but you want the absolute best distance and intermediate combination? Glad you asked. The Bachelom Lux Smart lenses use pure non-diffractive optics. It extends focus without the rings. The company is planning to launch it in the USA in 2026. It will be a great addition to our EDOF lenses on top of Vivity. Early results show excellent distance and intermediate vision. Contrast is similar to monofocal lenses. Again, the near vision with these lenses is not as strong as with diffractive trifocals. Studies suggest it provides better intermediate vision than Vivity with good distance vision as well. This makes it a strong choice for patients who spend a lot of time on computers, tablets, and smartphones. Now, what if you want the benefits of a trifocal lens but hate the diffractive rings? Consider the Bachelom Lux Life. It's a non-diffractive, full-range lens. It redirects light without rings. This lens is already available in Europe and US approval is pending. Early data suggests high independence from glasses and fewer halos. However, independent long-term data is limited. This lens is very new, so watch for results in real patients in daily practice. Now, if you're okay with some halos but want more near vision than a typical EDOF, is there a middle ground diffractive option? Of course, the Zeiss Atlara is an extended depth of focus EDOF intraocular lens that uses a diffractive optical design to provide a continuous range of vision. It stands off from other diffractive lenses, including both EDOF and multifocal lenses primary in its focus on providing a wide, 
continuous range of vision from a distance to intermediate and near vision, while also minimizing the visual side effects often associated with diffractive optics. This lens is a diffractive EDOF lens with a patented smooth microphase technology. Its design creates a continuous light bridge to extend the range of focus. One of the key features of Atlara is its focus on reducing visual side effects. It is designed to minimize light scattering and reduce glare and halos, especially at night. This makes it particularly effective for activities like driving, using a computer, and shopping. This lens is available in Europe, but not in the US yet. If you live in the US, the next lens has been widely anticipated and we expect it in the US towards the beginning of 2026. The BVI Fine Vision HP is a new trifocal lens. The FDA approved it on September 10, 2025, and we expect it to become available sometime in 26. The data so far on this lens looks very promising. Data indicates that over 95% of patients achieve complete spectacle independence at all distances. The combination of excellent visual acuity across all three ranges and the reduced incidence of visual disturbances has led to high patient satisfaction. A significant number of patients have reported they would choose the same lens again. Stay tuned to this channel. I will report my experience with real patients once this lens becomes available in the US. Next, I'll talk about one of the most anticipated lenses in the US due to become available early 26. The Technis Pursi is another EDOF lens. The lens changes its focusing power smoothly across its surface. It does not use diffractive steps or rings. This design also aims to avoid the light splitting issue of traditional multifocals, and like the VVT, it uses 100% of available light. The profile is ringless. It offers a smooth range into intermediate vision. It has been a hit outside of the US, and I'm looking forward to using it in early 2026, and report back the outcome here on my channel. Okay. Our last lens is also the most exciting one. It uses a completely new technology to focus light. The Ray-1 Galaxy is a new type of lens. The most distinctive feature of the Ray-1 Galaxy is its ringless spiral optical design. This is a significant departure from traditional multifocal and EDOF lenses, which typically use diffractive rings or zones to split light. Rainer claims that this spiral design, which was developed with the help of artificial intelligence, creates a continuous and seamless flow of light to provide a full range of vision from distance to near, with significant reduction in visual disturbance like halos and glare. Because its spiral design is non-diffractive and has no abrupt steps or discontinuities, it minimizes light scattering. According to early clinical data, patients with the Ray-1 Galaxy report significantly less glare and halos compared to patients with traditional diffractive trifocal lenses. However, it's a new product and we don't have much independent long-term data yet. When considering which lenses are most promising and will arrive first, it's important to know about current availability and future expectations. As of today in the US, you can choose from Vivity, Technis Odyssey, Panoptics Pro, and Envista Envy. Looking ahead to 2026, we anticipate the availability of Fine Vision HP, Lux Smart, and Pure C. Galaxy may follow pending FDA review and final data. If early results prove consistent, ringless full range concepts such as Lux Life and Galaxy are particularly attractive options. These lenses aim to address the primary patient complaints of night halos while simultaneously extending the range closer to that of trifocals. Ultimately, regardless of the lens choice, it's crucial to understand the practical challenges 
that can either make or break the outcome. I need you to understand that great outcomes are not dependent only on the lens. There are multiple factors to consider. First, what is the condition of your eyes? Severe dry eyes, macular degeneration, glaucoma, and many other conditions can degrade the performance of certain lenses. And it is important to have a deep discussion with your surgeon to choose the best lens option for you. Second, lens measurements are critical to optimal outcomes. I use multiple measurements from different devices to arrive at the most accurate results for my patients. And none of these could lead to a good outcome if the lens is not properly centered and aligned to the visual axis. With those realities, how do you decide whether to wait or move forward now? I feel that technology that is currently available in the US is excellent. So if you have degraded vision due to cataract, you don't have to wait. But if there are specific issues that worry you or special eye conditions that could complicate things and your vision is not degraded, waiting a little may be reasonable. My promise to you, I'll keep tracking the practical data, especially night driving symptoms, stability and spectacle independence and upgrade you when new ringless options prove themselves beyond early trials. By the way, should you have your cataract surgery with a laser or a blade? Click here to watch the video on this topic.